and welcome back to the painting video and as you can see by the title and the intro I will be painting from still life basically real life which I haven't done in a very long time last time I painted still life was when I was in high school and I was doing that for my assignments but yeah I basically got this bouquet of roses for my birthday and I was looking at it and suddenly got the urge to kind of paint them. I know when I was a kid I loved painting roses and I kind of just wanted to tap into this little part of myself that I used to like and yeah, enjoy the painting process. So usually when I paint still life, I would use acrylic or oil painting, but this time since I had gouache, I wanted to just kind of put in my sketchbook, although it's going to be a very tiny still life painting because I wanted to use my tiny sketchbook. But yeah, I hope that it turned out still decent. I was kind of working on the background trying to figure out where I wanted the light to come from and I had to play with the lighting in real life. So I opened one of my blinds on one side and closed on the other side so that way there's a better contrast so I could see it and actually put it better in my painting. I don't know if that makes sense, but I guess I was just trying to create a contrast and have some sort of depth so I could show in my paintings. So yeah, I kind of struggle a little bit since I haven't done it in a long time, but we'll just kind of go along the process together and I'll go through what I struggle with, but what I also enjoyed. I knew when I was starting to paint that the vase would be the hardest part for me because it's kind of a man-made stuff and as you know, I always say this in most of my video, I don't really like painting man-made because I had to make it look equal on both sides and I don't know, I kind of remembered how I was in high school and there definitely should be some sort of measurement which I skipped and I'm gonna go back and try to make it look equal on both sides but for right now <laughs> that's gonna be good enough it's just a quick sketch that I wanted to do well it wasn't quick it still took me hours to finish but just to kind of get back into it I didn't want to put too much pressure um, while painting it so yeah this is kind of the first layer for the vase and I'm gonna come back later to add some more details. I just wanted to move quickly so I could start painting the front part which is the roses and the leaves and the stems. So yeah, enjoy this part.
guess I also didn't mention that I kind of wanted to paint flowers because I was totally getting influenced by other artists on YouTube that I was watching. So Lee was painting a bunch of flowers and I love the way she does it. Um, I'm not doing it the exact same way. I'm kind of just painting in my own style. Well, hopefully it's in my own style. I'm just looking at the flowers and painting them, although it's not going to be too exact, but Again, just to get started, I just wanted to paint and just have fun with it. colors were kind of just merging into each other and there was not too much depth happening so that's when I went back and tried to add darker colors just to create some depth into the painting and then go back to add some highlights so there's gonna be a lot of back and forth but in the end I hope that it turned out decent <laughs> back to add some more details in the face now that I could show some reflection of the light. Um, I kind of use more of a dry brush technique for that one just so that I could add some white but not have it merge with the background colors because gouache gets activated when you have water so dry brush technique really helped with that and yeah I was pretty happy with it. It's not perfect but it's a good painting. I kind of like looking at it in my sketchbook so yeah this is what painting is to me. I make stuff that makes me happy and I hope it does for you too. to create some contrast in my painting so I had to go back and kind of darken a side of the background just to create some depth in it but yeah I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me let me know what you thought about the video and comment down below and I will see you in the next one Allez, bye